Hello everyone. Here we want to talk about the Excel that helps us for check uh, for printing the checks. For example, you have checks and you want to enter the data on it and you want to give it to some people for uh, getting cash from bank and uh, you don't want to write it by your hands so avoiding the mis handwritings and misunderstanding or something like that and you want to use Excel file for printing on those checks. And another case you want to have checks for more than one people for example 10, 100 and you don't want to write it on that, on that checks by your hand so you need an excel file for that reason we developed this excel that is developed based on the vba and macros so if you open this excel for the first time you will see the yellow ribbon here that says you have to enable the macros on this excel file so please go ahead and enable the content of this excel the first sheet you see is for entering the data, the name of the person you want to have check for the him, the amount of the checks, and the date of the check that uh, people can go to the bank and uh, cash that. After that, you have to specify the description why you um, getting this check, why you need to give the check to that person. You need to write it down here. After specifying the data on the checks, you have to specify the size of the checks. For example, high and length. Uh, these are based on the centimeters. So if you are working with the inch, please convert the inch to the centimeter and then enter the data of that. In most cases, the checks are produced by this size, but if your bank is different, have a different size, please go and and measure that uh, the size of the check and enter here after that you have to specify the currency that you want you are working on it. in the US dollar is it the Canadian dollar or is a pound euro etc uh, so please specify your currency and after that is uh, you are ready to have your print so first of all if you want to have just one print you need to uh, adjust the printer properties but if you need to have checks for more than one people you need to have a list for example something like this one uh, here we have three person well these are the same because i just entered the data and uh, you have you can have more than three you can have 10 100 just go here and add the person to the to the table before that, please remove all previous data because we you don't want to have check uh, print checks on those. So after you remove all those data, your list make sure your list is empty, and add to the list. For example, I change the name. I want to have another check for Arash Keshavarzi, and for example, one thousand dollar and I will add this one to my list again or someone else for example Alex Alex and it's just an example and it's a payment for a house rate is for example two thousand dollar I don't know and add this one to the list as well so if you go to the list sheet you can see these data are submitted here Okay, so uh, when you're done, please adjust the printer property. When you're done, please adjust the printer properties. If you click on this green button, you will see the message that asks you if your printer is a vertical or horizontal. It's based on your printer, how the, this printer will get the paper. Is it horizontally or is it vertically? For example, in my case, it's vertical. And after that, it asks you to choose your check image. It's not uh, just simply get an image by your phone uh, from the check and select it here. Go somewhere, save your image. For example, in my case, I have to go to this folder. Progress and 
Sounds of Doors. Okay, it's this this one is my image of check. If you insert the check, you can see it's much much bigger than what I expected. You have to shrink this image and place the image into this blow uh, lines. And you, uh, if you see that this one is not included in the check, so I will crop this one until here. And then I go to manage the image to be fit on this blue lines. Okay, after you fit that, you can see there is a text box here. You have to adjust the text box into the right places. For example, here I need to smaller text box. And then I just adjust it here. The dates, each number for day and for month and date and here are in the individual text box. And the name and the description of why we pay this check. So it should be comes here. After you adjust all the text boxes into the right place, you have to go and select one of these buttons. The first one will just print what you see here. Okay, it just for one print. But if you want to print all this list, you need to choose the blue one. And if you want to readjust the printer, you can select the orange one here and do the same readjustments. So for example, I want to print just this one. I select the yellow one. And I have to select a folder that the PDF file I want to save it. For example, the same here. And if I choose this folder, the PDF file will be placed there. And if you go to that folder, you can see there is a PDF file. There is no image under this text box, it's just a text box. And if you place the if you place your checks into the printer and after that you print this one you will have all this data on your check so uh, for example you want to print all this list then you should just go and press the blue one this one will ask you the destination folder as well I simply just select the check print this folder here you should remember that your folder name should be placed right here and you can you have to see this name here after that press ok you can see the pdf file are generated and if you go to the folder you will see all the pdf files here and you can simply just print all of them by selecting click right and print if you choose this one all this PDF file will be printed and you have just placed the check into your print printer then select this and all of your checks will be printed properly before you print all those checks please uh, use this Excel file and have some samples to and be sure you are uh, working right with that and if you are okay then use the actual check for printing it thank you for listening i hope this Excel file helped you a lot wish you the best